As a single unified client, Skype for Business 2015 integrates all the features of a unified communication solution, including IM, presence, voice, video, and web conferencing. In this lesson, we'll describe the enhanced feature of Skype for Business 2015. Skype for Business 2015 displays IM, phone, and meeting capabilities at the top level, along with the contact list. New tabbed lists include a user's current and recent conversations and missed calls. Users can switch between conversation windows. Also, with the activity feed, users can see each other's latest activities, such as new office moves, personal photos, or status notes. Next is the Me area. The Me area provides location enhancements, activity feed, and photo features. Skype for Business 2015 can detect the location of users as they be travel between home and work, thereby allowing their contacts to see whether they are on the road or in a different building. In case of an emergency, E911 services can find users easily. Now let's discuss Contact Card. Skype for Business 2015 offers an extended contact card that shows information about the user, the organization, or distribution groups. Users can display contacts by group, availability, or by level of privacy, with or without photos. They can start conversations and meetings from the contacts list just by pointing to the contact. Contacts can be searched by using keywords such as a contact's title, team, or other expert quality that might appear on their contact card. There were also privacy enhancements made. Users can assign various levels of access to their contacts depending on their relationship with them, such as family or work group. Enhanced presence and privacy relationships allow organizations to show presence for individuals who have been explicitly added to contact lists. The shared feature has been improved as well. The sharing feature has been enhanced in Skype for Business 2015 to include application sharing, meeting, recording, playback, whiteboard, and annotation tools. Users can create presentations by using the Microsoft Office PowerPoint presentation graphics program. Users can collaborate by using the whiteboard and tools such as text, ink, drawings, and images. Improvements were also made to polling. The polling feature enhances collaboration by enabling presenters to quickly determine participants' preferences. During online meetings and conversations, presenters can use polling to gather anonymous responses from participants. Presenters can view poll results and choose to show or hide the results to the attendees. The Skype for Business Q&A Manager was added. Skype for Business Q&A Manager provides a structured environment for answering questions during a meeting. The feature is especially helpful in large meetings where a presenter can answer questions while someone else is presenting meeting content. Keep in mind that attendees can ask questions, but only presenters can answer. We've also improved the meeting join experience. Joining meetings is faster. After a user has installed Skype for Business, the user typically takes less than two seconds to join a meeting. Users can easily schedule meetings and invite others before and during meetings. Next, let's discuss conferencing attendees and scheduling. In Skype for Business, the process of sending invitations has been simplified by including a shorter HTTPS style URL. The meeting organizer can change the language of the invitation from English to another language and schedule online meetings when Skype for Business Server 2015 is not available. Mobile phone users can join audio conferences from the invitation. The meeting organizer can change permissions with a single click. There is no configuration required for the audio conferencing provider. These options are automatically selected. There were also PSTN dial-in conferencing enhancements, enhancements made as well. When users join a call, a minimum number of short, concise prompts occur. Callers will no longer be disconnected if no one is available to accept the call. Instead, they wait in the lobby. Meeting organizers can accept or decline admission to a caller waiting in the lobby. Callers also have access to DTMF commands through a help menu item. Callers are notified when calls are recorded. 
There are numerous additional enhancements I encourage you to read about in the related document for this lesson.